She learned she reckless And babe, you're my bestest friend Yeah, she my bestie What's up, y'all? Thank you for stepping into Diana's room. Compliments of the season. Happy holidays. I'm so glad I'm able to share this video because this look was really on my mind for my beginner girls. You know I'm here for you guys. Really easily achievable. The eyes are really subtle and it's just about letting your lips do the talking, okay? If you're not really good with eyeshadow, you're not really good with doing things with your eyes, this is simple, easily achievable, and just let your lips pop. Everyone is going to be looking at you with this kind of lips. Like, come on come on like obviously that's why i wanted to share this this new year's eve inspired bold glossy lips subtle eye glam with you guys because i feel like somebody out there might need it um before you get into this new year's eve glam please click the subscribe button click the like button and share to whoever you think might enjoy this kind of video this kind of makeup you know Apart from the lips and the eyes i also dropped tips on how to have like a flawless base that lasts all night no flashbacks because new year's eve is all about taking pictures making videos and um been out all night into New Year's, so you're gonna need these tips. So you want to stick around from the beginning to the end of the video so you don't miss a bit. Um, just go ahead and watch the video. So we're going to start with the eyebrows. So I'm just using edge control to just slick it up there and I'm using this, um, the bottom of my tweezer to just basically make it stay all night, okay? We don't want our hairs going all over the place. And now I'm filling it with pencil, just filling it lightly like you don't need your eyebrows looking like a thick ass dark block just you know feather like strokes so it looks very natural because at the end of the day this look is all about the lips once i'm satisfied with how my eyebrows look i'll go in with the concealer just to um you know what i actually have a whole eyebrow tutorial on this channel if you scroll down a little bit it is right there and it's beginner friendly as well so you can look at that i'll probably do an updated one next year if you guys want that because i think my eyebrows have looky changed since then but yeah i have a whole tutorial so i don't feel the need to talk you guys like, through the entire eyebrow process because i feel like you get the gist like i typically don't do the top of my brows but if i don't feel 100 percent with the shape I will do the top with like just the residue on the brush i wouldn't use any extra product because i really don't care for doing the top of my brows like that anymore moving on to color correcting this part is where we start talking about creating the perfect base for your makeup that would last all night you can't go ahead with adding other products over your face if um, if you've not done like color correcting because the products won't probably sit right and it will not give you like the desired color people use different colors of color correctors but i'm using this one that's kind of yellowish because i don't know it just works for me but i can also use red because my undertone is like red slash orange so after i color correct i blend that all into my skin and then i use my setting powder to just set that okay this tip this part literally makes makeup last all day like my makeup stays matte after using the setting powder i go in my foundation and um, i have a whole blending tutorial as well if you want to see how to blend um blending is just about tapping the product into your skin that is how your product will last all night if you're in the habit of swiping off your products when you blend i'm very sure you don't like the outcome of your makeup after because it's not going into your skin properly and just look how flawless that looks without color correcting the foundation will probably not sit like that the highlights nothing will sit like that because the colors from under your skin will always like try to push through your makeup so yeah it's an important step now moving on to concealer for highlighting i have a whole tutorial for highlighting and contour for beginners i will link that up somewhere for you guys to see but i also just want to talk through this um facelift type of highlight and contour so because of that i will do an updated tutorial on it next year but um but essentially for this look for this new year's eve glam you need that facelift okay you need your face to be snatched snatched as hell into the new year so hence the placement of my concealer because i want my face because i want this to give an illusion of a facelift you know just for my face to look more snatched and a lot more lifted 
So the way you blend your highlights also really matters. So I like to make sure that I don't over blend out of the area that I need my highlights. And I need it to be extremely smooth before you set it with powder. So everything has to be properly blended and look at the result. Like everything is just sitting right. Once you started your base very well, everything is just going to sit right. So now we are moving to one of my favorite parts of makeup, which is contour, because contour just literally like camouflages so many things. I mean, the face just becomes snatched. So um, I contour my nose, my forehead, my cheekbones, chin, my jawline, because those are the areas we want to hide, okay? The entire time I was doing this makeup, I was just wondering like, this contour was really hitting like it was hitting so hard like my cheekbones look so snatched like every time i looked in the camera i was just shook at how how like snatched i look and that is why it's important to have like a great routine for your contour and your highlights and how you blend and place the placement is so important so yeah keep that in mind when you're doing your base it is so flawless if i do say so myself if you follow these steps I'm sure you guys will be able to get this result too. So now we move on to cream blush. I really love using cream blush because it just adds some kind of color and warmth to the cheekbones, to the face. Like it doesn't look too um, bland. Like it just adds some elevation to the look. And I also put it in my eyelid as well just to add some color as well and warmth in that area and everything was just snapping so hard that I couldn't deal. So this step is completely optional but I I, me personally i love a bright under eye and i feel like for new year's eve like if you don't usually do this do it try it like just bright under eye like let your eyes be lit like if you have a lighter concealer just add that but i like to use white so this step is actually very important in having like a matte finish i really don't bake my setting powder anymore i just use a beauty blender to press it into every area i want to um, apply so i press it just press it press it like this. the same way you blend your cream products i just kind of um press it into my face pressing it into your face will make it stay longer rather than just baking and then swiping it off but if you push it into your face the effect will linger and last longer so i just dust off the excess powder and then move on to bringing back the detail into the makeup with a bronzer or contour powder so i just apply the contour powder to everywhere i contour just to bring back the detail a little bit from the cream contour adding this cream and powder over each other just adds to the long lasting effect of your base just connecting the contour from my nose to the crease of my eyes just to kind of bring some detail into my eyes so it's not too bland so moving on fully to the eyes i'm just using this um eggshell slash neutral color on my on my lid just to add a little bit of uniformity to the eyes and then i'm going in with my eyeliner we're going in with a full wing okay and i had to take a deep breath before i went in with this eyeliner because liquid liner literally ruins things for me and for beginners i advise that you use a pencil liner or a gel liner because it's easier to maneuver than liquid liner because liquid liner can mess you up last minute just um trying to get my eyeliner right get the line straight and make sure it looks exactly how i want it to so after all the deep breaths like i'm glad like this actually came out very good okay so i want to add rhinestones to the look because i don't want it to be too bland i mean it's new year's eve and even though the lips are the focus of this look i still want the eyes to sparkle a little bit so i'm using my eyeliner to make markings for where i want to put the rhinestones so it's symmetrical and then i forgot to hit record when i added the um adhesive for the for the rhinestones so i just used um regular eyelash dual glue and then i just put them in dots exactly at the point where i marked and yeah this is the outcome and i really really loved it like it had the desired effect so i also added some eyelashes and everything is just looking so glam everything is just really having the desired effect so to do my waterline i'm using um a black eye pencil just to add some intensity under my eyes and i'm using the mascara to pull out my bottom lashes okay because my bottom lashes have to pop and if you're doing this look as well i feel like you should do the same because bottom lashes just kind of add this little oomph to the look so now that i'm done with the eyes i'm moving on to my face i'm just adding some um powder blush just to bring more color into my face and then i'm adding a brighter powder under my eyes to increase the brightness because like i said 
bright under eye for new year's eve is a vibe i'm adding some highlighter to my cheekbone just a little bit not too much because i already have the rhinestones my lips are going to be popping i'm adding the highlighter to my nose bridge as well and to my cupid's bow and then i'm putting some of my waterline just to add a little bit of a pop to my eyes so moving on to the lips, my lips are already moisturized so I'm going in with my dark brown lip liner to line my lips and I do like to overline my lips so this is a thing of preference if you're not a fan of the look don't do it but I like to do it but I don't do it too much because I already have full lips so just a little bit to emphasize my already full lips and then after I use the brown lip liner I'm adding this wine lip liner to create an ombre effect between both colors and i really just like the look of both of them together and then i'm going to smack to blend them some more and then i'm going to add this color that is literally almost the same color as my lip from my paint palette and then once everything is properly blended i'm busting out my fuchsia pink lip gloss and the entire time i wasn't recording um when i applied it but yeah this lip gloss is so bomb like it has shimmers and i was just dying because this look was just everything i needed it to be and the shimmers in this lip gloss is just so good i will list all products in the description so look out for that and this is the finished look guys Thank you so much guys for watching this video i hope you picked up a few tips that you're able to use in your upcoming looks just look for your favorite bold lip and swag it out the way i did you can use any color like i used pink you can use red you can use burgundy you can use purple dark purple you can use um maroon any color that is your pick for a bold lip do that and follow the steps do everything i did and um we have a sleigh okay i'm so excited about the new year i don't know about you guys um so i'm really excited about doing all things new year's eve new year's and whatnot so i hope you guys really enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to leave me a like a thumbs up or share with anyone you think um would want to see this and if you want more makeup looks in the upcoming year please let me know in the comment section because i really kind of took a break from doing full makeup tutorials so let me know if you guys want to see more happy new year in advance and thank you so much guys for sticking with me you know we've been rocking for like over two years and you guys are still here so i appreciate you and i'll see you guys next year until then let's get it together Tres, cuatro.